गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू थिंक आई चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस घटना चक्र करंट अफेयर्स 2023 थाउजेंड हियर वी विल डिस्कस वन ईयर्स करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ यू पी एस सी यू पी पी एस सी एम पी पी एस सी बी पी एस सी एंड अदर स्टेट एग्जामिनेशन आवर टॉपिक इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट रिकोगनाइज सेक्स वर्क एज प्रोफेशन लेट एस बेगिन द टॉपिक इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ सेक्स वर्क द कंडीशन ऑफ सेक्स वर्कर्स स्पेशली वीमेन इज वेरी पथेटिक कंडीशन इन द सोसाइटी सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन मई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू रिकोगनाइज सेक्स वर्क एज द प्रोफेशन हाईलाइट्स ऑफ द जजमेंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑब्जर्व दैट द प्रैक्टिशनर्स ऑफ सेक्स वर्क इज इन टाइटल टू डिग्निटी एंड इक्वल प्रोटेक्शन अंडर लॉ द अपेक्स कोर्ट इन वो इट्स स्पेशल पावर अंडर आर्टिकल वन फोर्टी टू ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट इज वर्थ मैंशनिंग दैट इन ट्वेंटी टू इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू द नेशनल ह्यूमन राइट्स कमीशन एन एच आर सी रिकोगनाइज सेक्स वर्कर्स एज इन फॉर्मल वर्कर्स as article 21 of the constitution declares that no person or citizen or non citizen shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty the apex court observed that sex workers are entitled to equal protection of the law and criminal law it must apply equally in all cases on the basis of age and consent next heading is who global center for traditional medicine in gujarat traditional medicine in gujarat In April 2022 Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of the World Health Organization WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine Traditional Medicine Center in Gujarat foundation stone laid by Prime Minister Narendra Modi foundation stone laid on April 19 2022 collaboration with WHO World Health Organization established at Jamnagar Gujarat name of the center institute of teaching and research in ayurveda itra primary objective the center aims to channel the potential of traditional medicine by integrating it with technological advancements and evidence based research key highlights are the center will seek to set policies and standards on traditional medicine products and help countries to create a comprehensive safe and high quality health system the gctm will support efforts to implement the who's traditional medicine strategy 2014 to 23 kerala becomes first state to introduce carbon natural farming carbon neutral farming carbon neutral farming kerala government has budget 6 crore in the 2022-23 fiscal year to implement carbon neutral agriculture practices in selected places in the state this will make kerala first state in the country to introduce carbon neutral farming carbon neutrality and farming carbon neutral carbon emission caused by an entity have been balanced out by funding an equivalent amount of the carbon savings carbon savings funding renewable energy projects of forestation creating carbon sink etc carbon neutral farming farming practices that promote carbon neutrality sagar parikrama next heading is sagar parikrama india has a coastline of about 7516.6 km that is 7516.6 km covering nine maritime states or four union territories and providing livelihood support to billions of coastal fishers folks as a mark of gratitude to our seas it is proposed to organize sagar parikrama program on occasion of the 75th azadi ka amrit mahotsav saluting our great freedom fighters sailors and fisher fisher folks about the sagar parikrama begin on 5th march 2022 phase 1 begin from gujarat duration 2 days coverage gujarat dew maharashtra goa karnataka kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh odisha west bengal andaman and nicobar and lakshadweep islands aim understanding challenges experiences and aspirations of fishermen community the primary purpose of the parikrama is to interact with fishermen fisher communities and stakeholders in these location and districts next heading is special initiative the cryosphere is the frozen water part 
of the earth system polar science has the potential to benefit humanity inform the sustainable use of resources help protect the planet and generate economic and social impact for continuing research in this direction indian government has recently approved polar science and cryosphere pacer scheme pacer about pacer scheme launched by ministry of earth sciences approved in march 2022 objective is to improve our understanding of polar science and cryosphere system with a special emphasis on the antarctic arctic and glaciers of the himalayas programs are the antarctic program indian arctic program southern ocean program and cryosphere and climate program implementing agency implementing agencies are national center for polar and ocean research and cpor ministry of earth sciences duration of the initiative initiative has been approved for continuation during 2021 to 2026 intensified mission in the dhanush imi 4.0 india's universal immunization program or vaccination program launched in 1985 is one of the largest health programs of its of kind in the world the program provides vaccination against nine life threatening diseases diphtheria whooping cough hemophilus influenza type b hib causing pneumonia and meningitis tetanus polio tuberculosis measles hepatitis b and japanese encephalitis in the entire country the ministry of how ministry of health and family welfare government of india launched mission indradhanush in december 2014 as a special drive to vaccinate all unvaccinated and partially vaccinated children under universal immunization program uip intensified mission in the dhanush imi 4.0 launched on february 7 2022 launched by ministry of health and family welfare program launched intensified mission in the dhanush imi 4.0 About the mission in the Dhanush, mission in the Dhanush was launched by Prime Minister in December 2014. Aims to cover the partially and unvaccinated pregnant women and children in pockets of low immunization coverage, high risk and hard to reach areas. Protect children and women from vaccine preventable diseases.